These are the cutting edge of the racist society that engendered them as a means of protecting remember, white hegemony. You've got to remember that training is an important part of it. You also have to have everything in place to ensure that they are doing what is good for the community, that they are having the proper interaction, that they are doing, approaching everything in the proper way, and, and training is critical to that. Now when you talk about holding them accountable, one of the things that needs to happen is when an officer is involved in something that can be a charge against the officer, they're involved in shooting, they're involved in beating, they're involved in, in anything that could result in a charge against the officer. That charge should be taken to a body outside of the district attorney. It should be either a special prosecutor or it should be the state attorney general's office because the district attorney has to work with officers all the time in the cases that they are prosecuting. So they need to have the cooperation of the officers in order to do their job. So, to, so when you are going to prosecute a case against an officer, you have to take it to another body that will not have a conflict of interest. We agree completely. Yeah, I'll shake your hand and tell you you are endorsed. This thing is endorsed by the Secretary of the Pacific Green Party, all two of us. Uh, but the fact is that um, uh, uh, what we've got is a, uh, a report that to the present dysfunctional bureaucracy adds another layer. That's what this agreement is between the city and the Department of Justice, we get another layer, right. uh, supposedly overseeing the other layers that are totally dysfunctional. And what your suggestion is, and I concur, and as I said, if you actually were to pursue it, you would have us on as charter members for this campaign. And but what we ought to have is the thing is prosecuted in a wholly different uh, uh, right. hierarchy right. than the one in which it occurred. But when you get to that point of pursuing the prosecution, you're already too late because what you have to do is get the proper training in the first place so that the officers know how to interact properly with individuals so that you won't get into a situation where you have to prosecute the officers. They know not to kill people who are unarmed, and they do it all the time, so what the hell? Well, but the way they're trained is to escalate. Uh-huh. Well, uh, well uh, it's, a, it's, it's, a good, it's a good thing to have better training, but it's not, in my opinion, uh, central as uh, accountability. And I think we'll we'll have to let these guys turn our their PA system back up again. I think we've had a uh, nose to nose uh, discussion of our our differing opinions and I, I hope that uh, my uh, manner was sufficiently restrained so that you didn't feel and I don't think you did feel uh, inhibited from disagreeing with me. <laughs> Okay, let's let's uh, call the uh, call the house lights back up and uh, uh, turn on their I don't know Western uh, uh, postmodern music. Thank you very much, sir, and uh, we appreciate having your appearance. I'm thinking of having Floyd Jones next. Yeah. Anyway, uh, uh, that's that's it for for today. Uh, if if uh, let's go over here, we're done. That. Uh, what you said about the police training. Um, I, was, I was actually having a, a little debate with one of my roommates the other day. And uh, I mean, yeah, obviously. Now we throw the floor open for open discussion. You know, not being